That's my dad riding beside me at age 75. We took a cross country road trip to California. That was five years ago. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a serious topic. Is there a certain age limit that you reach to know when it's time to stop riding? Everybody knows you're my daddy. What do you ride? Oh, uh, 17 Ultra. So you're 74 years old and you still ride your Harley Davidson. What, what about somebody who's in their 70s and they're still and they're thinking about getting back on the bike? Would you recommend for them to get back on the bike? Yeah, I recommend that, yeah, because you change the style of riding when you get older, but you still can do the same thing. Let's talk about the California trip. You excited about going on the California trip? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the main thing my goal for this summer. Well, what do you want to see when you go out there? Really, it just... Going for the ride. I just want to go to the West Coast. I've been on the East Coast all my life, so I want to go to the West Coast. You said you want to go on Route 66? Yeah, I like to be on some of Route 66. I don't have to ride all of it, but I like to check some of that out and just check out the stuff out there, you know. just I just want to go that way. Just want to go west. I've been on the beach on the East Coast, and I want to go to the beach on the West Coast. Okay. So that's what I want to do. All right. Mm -hmm. So On the other end. Keep watching the channel. That's what we plan to do. How do you feel about your children riding? Uh, I enjoy riding with my children and my family and my brothers and everybody. You got to be really observed where everything's going on. And I'll be concerned about my kids riding motorcycles. But I enjoy riding with them because uh, uh, it's, it's a good thing to ride with your family. Like when I was a little boy, I rode with my uncle. He had a 47 Harley. I remember that. That was good to have uh, all three of your kids uh, at Daytona on bikes and things. That, was really, uh, that really was a good thing. And brother. Yeah. My brother was there. And, yeah. We just had we just had a good time. We need to really do that again. Uh, How do you feel when you ride a motorcycle? Just a sense of freedom. It's just uh, 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 it's almost like a therapy. You are relaxed, and you just it's it's just a just free, especially in it. and it's really good to do it with your kids. To yeah. Just think of that be an old person and you've been riding bikes all these years, and then your kids grow up riding bikes. That's something. I finally got to see it in a lot of years. I should, I should have been here a long time ago. How many years in the lake? I've been thinking about it for a lot of years. Me and old uh, Cecil Raymond used to talk about riding the bikes out here. That would have been a job because we had them old Harleys back in. Yeah. Try to come off a hill with just regular brakes. I could, it wouldn't have been no trouble coming to the hill. No it was brakes. easy to handle. You know, I could have handled with that cable. What would have been in trouble is every time you stop, you got to start tightening up stuff. Them old ones you did. Yeah, yeah. First Harley I had, that where you had to do all that maintenance stuff was, was that 03. Oh. And they might they started before that. But my 03 was the first model I had. You didn't have to worry about stuff vibrating loose on it uh -huh. and all that. It was just, it was just low maintenance. See, there yeah. wasn't that much to it. And it the is. same with these right here. This is that bike right here. That bike right there, it handles. That, handles, that bike handles like a dream. Riding a motorcycle brings joy and freedom to motorcycle enthusiasts all over the world. For some, it's the way they like to tour and discover new places. Some people enjoy the adrenaline and the excitement hearing the roar of the motor and feeling the rush of the wind as you watch the landscape change. And without anything obstructing your view, the open air, the warmth of the sun as you move forward. For others, it's a way to decompress with the burdens of day-to-day -day stress, relieving the stress through wind therapy. And in many cases, it's a combination of these feelings that makes riding motorcycles so great. With so many wonderful things about motorcycles, it can be a difficult decision when or if you should stop riding motorcycles. Well, what do you say about people who say that they're, you know, they're in their 70s or 60s and they can't ride a bike because they're getting too old? Would you tell them they no, need to? You, you got, we, I know a lot of people in their 60s and 70s and 80s still riding bikes. Yeah, you, you don't, you, I don't know. I don't know why you figure out when you're too old. I guess when you let it fall over yeah, something. Can you wreck it and it can't be fixed yeah. you either. <laughs> Let's go back to about two days from now when I took a ride with my dad 
on his 2017 Ultra, and my brother-in-law Leonard to go get some ice cream. Anyway, cause I just, I'm just happy to be out riding the bike, right? But check it out. You see, I got Leonard with me. What's going on? What's going on? And that, he got that thing cleaned up. It looks a whole lot better than it did <laughs> when he got caught in that storm, huh? Yes, it does. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen Daddy in a while. There he is on his bike. This is just something that we like to do. On Sunday evenings, get out, take a little ride, and they go eat ice cream. I don't even like ice cream, but I like to go for the ride. You hear what I hear, the soundtrack of hearing those cicadas right there, that is definitely what you're gonna hear in the south in the summertime. Those are little bugs that come out and make all kind of noise, but it sounds like home to me. Leonard, what flavor, what flavor are you gonna get again this time? Uh, Strawberry chocolate mixed squirrel. Oh, you're something always like getting that. that strawberry thing. You don't even eat ice cream, so what difference does it make? <laughs> you you so. it, then you talk about I'm it. I'm trying ice cream, I just don't like it. Uh, All right. Come on. Enjoy our, our, our oh, no, I don't know nobody don't like ice cream, but him. But him. <laughs> ice cream, though. What else you don't eat? You what set aside. What? Well, no. I ain't get strawberry. <laughs> what is a, a, a brown butter pecan? I can't even tell a brown butter pecan. Basically, butter pecan without pecan. Got their ice cream order now. I'm gonna have to go over there to uh, the pizza and get me some pizza because I don't really like ice cream, so that's my thing. What? Yeah, she said y'all can hang out here when the beeper goes off. It already went off? Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, okay. Most of the time, we're not even going 15 or 20 miles from home. But I enjoy it when we're all together riding our motorcycles, hanging out. So the pizza just came, look at this. That looks delicious. As of lately, Daddy has been talking about selling his motorcycle and buying a trike. And I hope he does, so we can continue doing stuff like this. Accent lights on. It's looking good, got it all cleaned up after the ride. Then you got Daddy's bike right here. 2017 Ultra Classic. And guys, guess what? This motorcycle is for sale. It is for sale. Yes, you heard me right. You heard me right, it's for sale. Now, real quick, it has the uh, newer Ultra wheels on it, has uh, LED headlights all the way around, LED turn signals all the way around, Clockworks windshield, LED uh, mirrors, has a zippers, 468 cam in it, Chromeworks exhaust, Thunder Max tuner, has the uh, volunteer audio upgraded stereo with the uh, speakers. So it has, I mean, everything. Again, there's those chrome works, has the LED bag lights, LEDs all the way around. This bike is ready to go, ready to go. If you want a bike that has a stage two kit that runs really good, that's the one for you. So comment in the comment section below and uh, I'll give you some more information about it, okay? He is going to turn in the next couple days. He will be turning 80 years old and he still has a love to ride. But lately he's been talking about getting off of two wheels, getting on the three wheels. Because when you love to ride, you don't want to give up the freedom and the joy of riding, but you just have to make the adjustments. So that's what today's video is about, making the adjustments to continue enjoying riding. I'm going to give you some options that they have out there for people who love to ride, but may not be able to handle two wheels anymore, or before you even say it, people that just prefer three wheels over two. You're gonna see a bunch of options and we're gonna give you some information. I also told you it's my dad's birthday. By the time this video is out, he's, it'll be two days later, it'll be his birthday. So if you wanna wish him a happy birthday, I will provide a link in the description below with an email if you wanna send an e-card and an actual PO address if you wanna send a regular card. I will put that in the description below. So look for all that information below. Now my dad's been riding a Harley for over 50 years and here is a Harley Electric Glide, the 1968 Electric Glide that looks like his first Harley, except his first Harley was blue and black. The funny thing about it, it doesn't look that much different than what we have nowadays, uh, except this single piece seat. That's just insane that two people used to be able to fit on this seat right here. So he's been riding for over 50 years. So riding is in his blood, he loves it. He passed his passion down to his kids, my brother, my sister, his brother, all his children, they all ride motorcycles. It wasn't an easy decision going from two wheels to three wheels. But when you love something so much, you, wanna make, you have to make the adjustments to continue to ride. My goal is to be able to ride long distance again with my dad. 
We went to California that one time and now he's 80 and I want to celebrate his 80th birthday with another long trip. So getting him off of two wheels, getting him onto three wheels is important. Not only because when you get a little older, it's not as easy of holding up an 850 pound bike, but uh, you know, it will allow him to ride longer, to stay in the saddle longer. And if he wants to put my mom on the back and we take a family trip, then we can do that. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna look at some trikes and I'll show you some options that Harley Davidson has. And uh, hopefully we can get him on the trike and get him on the road trip. And guys, if you're interested in seeing that road trip, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because periodically I go live from the road. I usually upload the videos when I get home, but I go live from the road with the on road update. So let's go outside, take a look at some bikes. All right guys, so check this out. This is a good option right here. This is a 2024 Tri-Glide. Now, the good thing about this, it is a factory trike made by Harley Davidson. You need parts, go to Harley Davidson. Need accessories, go to Harley Davidson. Well, accessories that are uh, uh, factory accessories. Of course, aftermarket accessories will work with this too. And has the factory warranty. So anything that's done to this motorcycle is actually built at Harley Davidson. So they're gonna stand by all of it with their factory warranty on this bike. Completely, this is a factory bike except the wheels, which look awesome by the way. I like how they got these wheels on this. It's a good looking trike. The cool thing about it, it has the same lines as this Ultra. It looks kind of like this Ultra. Um, only thing about it, it just has the trike there. I haven't had the opportunity to ride with my dad and my mom on a road trip. If he bought this trike, then she could go right along with us on a road trip and that'd be awesome to take it all together as a family. So that would be a cool thing to do. But yeah, it's a good looking trike. It still has the tour pack on the back of it right here. Full size tour pack, same size tour pack that's on his bike. But let me show you this. Let me get this off the camera and show you this. Off the tripod and show you this. Check this out. Look at this. Storage. And that looks like it has a little bit more storage than two saddlebags. Do not put more than 50 pounds in the trunk. I think each saddlebag has 15 pounds each, maybe 20. So even the trunk of the Tri-Glide, it's gonna at least have 10 more pounds than two saddlebags. Look at those wheels. It's a good choice in wheels too. Now this is a beautiful trike, but we actually have two more options from Harley Davidson, so let me show you those. This next trike is something that people went crazy for. Harley Davidson came out with this trike, not last year, the year before last. Actually, one of my cousins bought a trike like this. This is a beautiful motorcycle, and it's pulling up right now. <laughs> and he pulled up a little too far. Back up a little bit. And guess what, guys? It has reverse, just like that. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. Check this out. This beautiful Road Glide 3. Another option, another great option if you want to go with a trike. Look at this, and it looks a lot different than what you just saw before. Now, the main thing that you're noticing, the other one was a bat wing. This one is a shark nose. I like the color of it. I don't know what this color is, but it looks fantastic. And it's all blacked out. It's just very stealthy. It looks really cool. This one right here. I would need some bigger bars, some bars up there or whatever, and need my feet back a little bit. But this is a really cool Road Glide 3. The only downside to this one is this. You have no tour pack. Now, right here, you can put a backrest right there, and it'll make it pass uh, comfortable for the passenger. And you have some storage right here in the back that lifts up from the side, but that's why you can't have a tour pack on it. And I don't think, you know, this brace is pretty hefty though, but I don't think this would be sufficient for mounting some kind of tour pack. Cause if you put a tour pack here with some kind of rack, then it's gonna get in the way because the way this swings open to the side. But let me show you, let me show you how much space that you have in there though. So you have the trunk right here, 
and it looks like you have more space than two saddlebags, but you have no place to mount a tour pack. Now, someone I'm sure, if you mounted some kind of luggage rack back there and put you a rickrack bag on it, then I think that would work out. I think that would be a good option for you. But it even has the shorter fenders, so it's more of those tires in the rear. That looks good to me. Has the handles right there. Just a sleek, clean profile of a trike. A very good looking trike. And I think that you could travel on this long distance. Again, if you put a luggage rack on the back, put a rick rack bag on the back, I think you'll be good to go. These wheels are 18s. Man, I think you could put 20s on it. You probably could. You definitely could put a 21 on the front. I'm, I'm giving away my secrets of what I'd do to it if I had one of these Rogue Glide 3s. So, very capable bike, definitely good for anyone who wants to get off of two wheels. Well, hold on, hold on, I mean, before, just in case somebody skipped through this thing, not just for anyone wanting to get off of two wheels, for anyone who wants to have three wheels, because people ride trikes for different reasons. Some people just like the way this looks, and they like the idea of having a trike more than they do a motorcycle. So. There's a number, there's a whole bunch of reasons why people buy trikes. So I like the Rogue Glide 3, or the RG3 as people are calling it. It's a good looking trike. So if you like the Tri Glide, you like the Rogue Glide 3, then there's one more that Harley Davidson has for you. This is a cool looking trike that they just introduced, I think, I think two years ago too, or maybe even last year, I'm not 100% sure, but this is a 24. Right here. Thanks again, Matt Jackson, bootlegger Harley Davidson. <laughs> All right guys, so check this one out. This is a new 2024 freewheeler. Now you notice as we keep going, the first one had the bat wing fairing, had the tour pack on the back, had the big swooping fenders. The second one had the shark nose, had the chop fenders, had the uh, rear end without any tour pack on the back. But less is more sometimes because the cool factor of this trike is super cool. Look at this. It looks like a road king on the front. This is the Harley Davidson freewheeler. Look at this bike or trike, I'm sorry. So now, if you like that classic Harley-Davidson look of like a Road King or whatever, and you don't want to be bothered with the navigation, radio, and all that stuff, this is what you get, the Harley-Davidson freewheeler. Most people will take this and put a windshield on it if you're going to do any traveling long distance, but even though it doesn't have a fare or anything, it's definitely capable of traveling long distance on this bike because just like the other two, this one also has a trunk. So let me show it to you. How's it going? Man, I was watching your video last night on YouTube. Oh yeah? Well thanks for watching. I'm actually making a video about this trike now. You mind if I record you? No, I don't mind. Alright, tell, tell me your name again. Bobby. And you have a what? A Triglide, a 2017 Triglide. Oh yeah, what would you ride before? I had a uh, Street Glide. Hold on just a second so I can hear you. I'll hold this to you. You had a what? Uh, before my 2017 uh, trike, I had a, a, a street glide. I had a heritage soft tail, a classic. Before that, I had a, a, a 90, I believe it was a 98 fat boy. And before that, I had a, a 65, no, 67 panhead. What made and you go with the tri glide? Because uh, I'm getting old and I had uh, back surgery, major back surgery about two years ago. And you didn't want to stop riding? No, sir. All right, and that's uh, what your uh, perfect timing. That's what this video is about. Yes, sir. You uh, for those when who when I stop riding, they're gonna be uh, uh, throwing me in the river or dirt <laughs> my face or something. No, uh, that's the reason I came up here. I'm glad I came up here. I, I've been wanting to meet you a long time. Uh, I'm on in here and uh, see about getting me some uh, bars, uh -huh. some 12 or 14 inch bars from my trike. See how high I can go without maybe changing a whole lot of cables. Right? Yeah, you know, yeah, I know you get in. I think 12 is high as you can go without changing the cable. Okay, pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, man. Yeah. Hey, you're going to be in this video. All right. Thank you. God bless you. All right, guys, that was super cool. How cool was that? I mean, that was absolutely perfect timing for someone to pull up who actually had had been on two wheels and now he's 80 years old, he switched over to riding a trike. He has a tri-glide. So, wow, that's, that's perfect. So let me show you this trunk. That's what I was doing here. But well, here's the uh, back. You have enough trunk space there. You also have the French end exhaust again and the open fenders in the rear. And all these trikes, guys, 
have reverse on it. Since we're talking about trikes, this is a Harley Davidson server car. And I guess you would say this is the first trike that Harley came out with. I heard that mechanics used to take this, come get your car from your driveway, hook this up to the back of the bumper and take, pull it back to the dealership with your car. If you wanna know more of that story, make sure you check out my Harley Davidson Museum uh, video where Paul James from Harley Davidson told us that story. Harley's been making trikes for a long, long time. And this is a 1952 server car. 45 cubic inches, 750, 750cc flathead, three speed with reverse. Wow, they've been making reverse since 1952. That's awesome. All right guys, so there you have it. That's what Harley has to offer for trikes. So if you wanna to continue to ride, then you can continue to ride. Uh, you heard that guy who said he's 80 years old and he's still riding a trike. You don't have to stop just because you can't ride two wheels anymore. You can make the transition to riding the three wheels. And let's be honest, what Harley has been doing for the last couple of years on these trikes, cause even the tri-glide, the tri-glide looks way better than it used to look. The tri-glide, the road glide three, and the freewheeler, there's some great looking trikes. And there was a ton of them here last year at Run to the Hills 4. If you wanna continue riding, don't let anything stop you. You can get a trike. There's options out there for you. All right, guys, so I'm in this video here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when videos become available. Again, also, if you're interested, do not forget to go down in the description section below where I will put my dad's information. If you want to send him a shout out, I'll put an email in the PO box down there. So if you want to send him an e-birthday card or an actual birthday card, for his 80th birthday, I'll put the information in the link below. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.